What's up guys, this is the next part of our node definition video. And so in the last video we created these three nodes. You can see there's one, two, and three. Now we're gonna look at how we wanted to, what we have to do to modify these nodes. So say if we wanted to switch around numbers or any properties, how would we do that? Make sure the joint tool is selected, okay? Oh, and keep in mind we have to have our file saved. So this is a good opportunity for me to show you how to save the file and how to be efficient with your saving files. So you should create, like I said before, in my very first introductory uh, video, you wanna create a folder specifically just for every project because you're gonna get a whole bunch of files within every project and it's just gonna create a mess and it's gonna be hard for you to keep track of everything. So every new project, create a separate folder just for that and click save. Okay, so now how do we modify any property of our nodes that we've just created. So from the last tutorial, remember, we've created three nodes. You can create as many as you want in our local coordinate system, X and Y, two dimensional. Um, so remember, you have to have the joint tool selected. If you don't have this selected, say we'll select a different tool, right click, and you see it doesn't actually select it. Now you'll notice if I click the joint tool and you want to click on a joint, See how it highlighted red? I just right clicked on it. Let's do that again. Right click over the joint. And now you get this property menu just for the node itself. So click on properties. And now you get joint properties that comes up. So this is a cool tool. So notice that you have row number one, two, three, joint number one, two, three. And you'll see our X distance that we've defined earlier, zero and zero and five at joint number two. 2.5 of joint number three. So say if we want to modify this a little bit, um, actually we decided we want to put joint number three at say 6.5 meters. Just type in 6.5, there you go. Now you have your third node at 6.5 meters. And oh yeah, one thing to note is whenever you click enter on these things, I don't like how, how it does this, but um, it creates another node. So I always just have to click on this, highlight it, and just, just delete it to keep things uh, consistent. Press okay. And you notice that it just jumped over there. So now we've got our third node at 6.5 meters from our origin. So, and that's similar with any property. You always want to have that tool. Remember, it's very important to have that um, tool in your modeling uh, tool in your modeling bar selected before you want to actually modify that specific tool. So again, you want to right-click, make sure it highlights red over whatever object you're selecting. In this case, it's a node properties. And then we're getting this menu here. So X degree of freedom, Y degree of freedom, Z degree of freedom, don't worry about those right now. But there's all sorts of settings you can change in here specific to what your project is going to look like.